stopped at Bob's gym. So I thought you might be interested to see what I actually do at the moment with my shoulder the way it is. So on the bike, let's go. Here we are at Bob's gym. He's actually building, so he's extending the gym a little bit, which is great. When he gets around to it, but, um, it will be a nice big gym and it won't be so pokey, which will be fantastic. He can't wait for this. And the problem is at the moment with COVID, he hasn't got a lot of money coming in, so it's a little bit hard to um, do anything about it at the moment, but he's working on it slowly but surely. Anyway. All right, a few things. So one of my issues at the moment is my hand. My hand is actually still swollen after the accident that I had on go. I am going to see the doctor and I'll give you a bit of a report on that. So I have been coming to the gym about three times a week, which has been good. Um, but what I'm doing is taking it easy and all the boys that keep saying to me, take it easy, take it easy. It's one of the things I like about Bob's gym. They all really care. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm doing more toning exercises for the muscles. You can see the scarring is pretty good. Um, and But what you find is that the scarring, because it's deep, it's still actually pulling on the muscle. And it's a little bit numb too, like still a little bit numb. I do get some pain here in the back where I actually impacted the ground. That's kind of, it's a weird thing, so I have to be careful. So I'm going to take you in and do the exercises. Obviously, I can't speak as I'm going through. I'll put up little things at the bottom like this to explain what I'm doing. I only do three sets. I'm doing lots of lighter weights. So it's more toning exercises than heavy weights that I was doing before. The heavy weights, I was actually up to some high weights. I had 180 pounds uh, for a chest press without help, Todd. I was doing you know, pretty much all the stops on most of the exercises in there uh, to you know all of the stuff so using all of the weight so that was the probably the week before I had the accident I was pretty much pushing all the stops um, and I was doing a 25 kilo dumbbell press really easily like 25 kilos in both arms that was real easy so you know that was all there I'm not trying to do that again what I'm trying to do is build up the muscle in my shoulders and my upper chest my chest to try and compensate for the damage that's there. 
I'm going to spend one month at light weights, at the lightest weights, around 25 to 30 pounds. I'll then do a second month, maybe lift that up a little bit to say about 40 to 45 pounds. And then by the third month, I'll be up again another 10% or so, another 10 pounds or so, uh, and work my way up over the next four to five months. Um, I don't expect I'm gonna be pushing full weights till this time next year, uh, if I try it. You know, that's the other thing I've really got to try. So come in with me. I'm going to start with probably five to ten minutes on the bike. I always like to do just a little bit of bike exercise to get my heart rate up and get me get the blood flowing. Okay, so come in with me.
Okay, so that's my little workout. So you gotta remember I'm on lower weights. I'm trying to stretch things more than anything. And most of the exercises I actually got from, bloody dog. And most of the exercise I actually got from my physio who were doing the same sort of exercises with me. I did ask him how much weight I can use and he told me around about 10 kilos and maybe a little bit more, which is pretty much all I'm using at the moment. So look, that's a good one hour in there. I'm doing three sets of each and sometimes increasing the weight. Because, you know, if I feel that it's a little bit too easy, I, would, I still want to push a little bit. So I still want to make it a little bit hard. You know, 35 pounds as opposed to 135 pounds. It's, you know, a quarter of the weight that I'm used to, but you know what, it's still doing something and I can feel that it's helping me amazingly. The stretches on the, um, the scarring that I have, you know, just these, these light workouts that I'm doing has made that amazing because before I could feel everything pulling. Every time I move my arm or my muscle, I could really feel that, that scar pulling. But now it's been stretched out, it feels kind of normal. Thanks for watching and Todd, no trolling, okay? <laughs> anyway, thanks guys.